Meta has begun testing a new subscription service where users can pay $11.99 per month to get their accounts verified on Facebook and Instagram. Gee, I wonder where the Zuck could have gotten that idea from. It's not like there's another multi-billion dollar, possibly extraterrestrial that owns another popular social media company that's doing the exact same thing right now. No, that would just be ridiculous to have two of these in one timeline. You know, it is kind of ironic though that Facebook is copying Twitter's business strategy right now because Facebook is the OG social media company. They've always been bigger than Twitter. They've been bigger than Twitter before Twitter even existed. Any one of Meta's platforms actually, whether it's Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, but not the metaverse. We're not gonna talk about that giant money sinkhole, but the platforms belonging to Meta that people actually use are all independently at least as successful as Twitter when you look at how many users WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook all independently have. So this just shows you how far Meta, Facebook, whatever you wanna call them has fallen as a company that they have to copy Elon's homework that he's doing over at Twitter. So the Zuck made this new product announcement on Meta's official channel this last Sunday. Good morning, a new product announcement. This week, we're starting to roll out Meta Verified, a subscription service that lets you verify your account with a government ID, get a blue badge, get extra impersonation protection against accounts claiming to be you, and get direct access to customer support. This new feature is about increasing authenticity and security across our services. Meta Verified starts at $11.99 a month on web or $14.99 a month on iOS. We'll be rolling it out in Australia and New Zealand this week in more countries soon. You gotta love that $3 upcharge that Meta is applying to have the verification on an iOS device. I'm pretty sure that the whole reason they're doing that is because of Apple's app tracking transparency. It caused Meta to lose billions of dollars in ad revenue. The whole reason that these companies like Meta are able to profit from free social media platforms is because they use the data that you're interested in, data about what you're looking at when you're browsing on these social media sites, and they use that to show you targeted ads, which are more effective at getting you to buy the thing since it's targeted, and thus companies will spend money to advertise on these platforms. And blocking that tracking that is used on Meta, on YouTube, on any of these platforms is very difficult to do on mobile. But now for iPhone users, which make up about half of the US mobile market, they pretty much have an ad tracker blocker that's built right into their devices. Now, one difference that I am seeing in how Meta is marketing the check mark on their platform is that they're trying to say first that it's for security. Twitter might have also said that it was for security at some point, but I feel like with Twitter, it was really just about letting people stand out more on the platform. I always felt like that's the real point of verification check marks. It's something that makes your account look different from the millions of other normie accounts. But they do mention here on Meta's announcement page that they wanna make it easier for people, especially creators, to establish a presence so that they can focus on building their communities on Instagram or Facebook. So they want to help people build that up faster. But the thing about this though, if anybody can just buy a blue check mark or a Meta verified badge for $12 a month, then don't you think that anyone who's really trying to get attention on this platform is just going to do that and sort of devalue the blue check mark? Like if you're a creator who is making money by creating content on these platforms, surely paying $12 a month to get more visibility on your account, to get more visibility on your content on the platform is gonna pay for itself. I don't use Instagram or any of Meta's products personally, so I don't have firsthand knowledge on this data, but I would imagine that if being verified makes you stand out on Instagram as much as it does on YouTube, then it's going to pay for itself in most cases. Uh, but that's only with the current landscape of verifications. Again, 
Uh, I'll use YouTube since that's the only social media platform I really use. In order to get verified on YouTube, you need at least 100,000 subscribers. And of course, subscriber count doesn't necessarily translate to the quality of your videos or how much money you're gonna make off of them. But if you can manage to get that many legit subscribers, then you're probably going to be making something decent in terms of, well, not only money, but your product that you're putting out there. And so the people that are consuming content on these platforms, them seeing a verification badge on an account in a way that's a stamp of approval that this person actually makes good content and they're worth watching. But on Instagram, now it's just gonna be a symbol that someone is giving Meta $12 a month. Uh, I also don't see anything in this announcement here about the verification badge really giving you any access to any meaningful features. Uh, like they say here that it gives you exclusive features to express yourself in unique ways. So not exactly sure what that means. Like, do you get ad block with meta verification? Or uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe it makes your post stand out more. Like on YouTube, I know by default, when people with a verification comment, it like gives you a special notification on your videos, uh, but you can probably turn that off, I'm pretty sure. But I don't see how spending the $12 is going to get you anything that you would really want on your account. Like I see that they're talking about uh, some additional security, like they say that you get more protection from impersonation uh, and things like that, but I don't think that that's useful for just the regular everyday person unless you're like a mega celebrity. So it's gonna be interesting to see how verification on social media is looked at in a few years now that it's something that can be bought. <laughs> because it seems like just a few years ago, having that check mark next to your name online was a serious boost to your popularity, not just in the online world, but in the real world too. Like back when I used to work at Best Buy, I knew this one kid that was verified on some platform. I think it was actually Instagram. Uh, but anyway, what really mattered was because this guy had a lot of followers online, it in a way translated to a boost in his social status in real life. Like there were girls that also worked there that wanted to do collabs with him so that they could try to get more followers on their Instagram accounts or whatever. Uh, and I think he also did a sponsorship one time, like he got a free video game and uh, a couple other things because he talked about it on his social media account. Uh, this is around 2015. so. Verification was a really big deal back then, but now it just means that you had $12. <laughs> now, there are a couple of interesting things about the verification. One is that you have to be at least 18 years old in order to get it, so I guess no more child stars on the gram. I know the cuties directors are gonna be really disappointed. Also, when you sign up, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you get that protective, uh, more protection from impersonation. There's basically active monitoring that they're going to do on the platform to see if people are impersonating you. So I think people that are really, really popular, like A-list celebrities might be interested in this because, well, those are the only people that you really see impersonated a lot online. Uh, Elon Musk might be interested in this. I think he's probably the most impersonated person online, at least as far as people that are running crypto scams go. They're like, hey, I'm totally Elon. Give me one Bitcoin and I'll send you two. But something that's kind of weird about the verification process is in order to get it, you have to give Meta your government ID. Now, I know Facebook started taking people's IDs as a way to verify accounts. I think you could still use just a phone number and email, or in some cases they might have made you use ID, like if you already created an account by from the same IP. But requiring the ID to get verified that's an interesting move. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter so much if you're, like if you have a monetized account through Meta because they're probably gonna have your information anyway in order to pay you, but there's something about giving my government ID to the Zuck that really makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't, I don't think I would wanna do that. Well, what do you guys think? What about everyone else? Do you think that they're going to actually pay 
$12 a month or $15 a month if they're on an iPhone in order to get verified on Meta? Let me know in the comments below and leave a like and a share on the video to hack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.